heat comes in the house from the bins outside through these pipes into the hopper and then the hopper will take the feed down the line and which will put it in the feed pans and the turbos. Lane is no stranger to the farm. My favorite thing about growing up on a farm is being around animals and working with them and watching them grow. He spent the morning raising the turbos, those orange things right there. They stay down for the first week of the chick's life to allow easy access to their food in a lower spot. The orange ones will normally take out once the chickens get older and they're big enough to eat out of the feed pans. It's one of the many tasks they have to do on a chicken farm. On this farm, there are 27,000 birds in each house and there's four houses here on the farm. They have three farms total with a little over 500,000 birds all together. We get the chickens here on the farm the day that they're hatched. The houses are 91 degrees when we put them in and so you think got to be warm. Those birds are just coming out of an incubator. Their body heat is normally at 104 degrees and it, if the chickens get too cold it will make them not want to eat and drink. That's really what the heater does for them. It just helps them stay warm. It's a lot to monitor but advancements in technology help make the process just a little bit easier. There's an app for a chicken house. It tells me uh, if there's any heaters on, it tells us what fans are running. It tells me how much water they've drank today. So far, this house has drank 634 gallons a day. The app can call or send a text alert if something doesn't seem right. If anything gets out of a parameter, like you know, a motor's running too long, water um, isn't running in the, in the window that it's supposed to, um, temperature, anything gets um, out of kilter, if you will, it'll actually alert us. The app helps them make sure the chickens stay comfortable at just the right temperature with water and feed constantly. A chicken's natural instinct is to peck, and when they peck, it pushes this up and allows the water to drip down, and that's how they get their water. Did you know that the main ingredients in chicken feed are corn and soybean meal, and the type of chicken food changes as they grow? Grower feed is pelleted for the big birds, but baby chicks, it's actually those pellets are crushed and it's ground up into just a more fine feed. The chickens are kept in these houses to protect them from weather. No chicken wants to be rained on. Predators. We humans aren't the only ones that like to make a meal out of chicken, right? And disease. We exercise biosecurity on the farm, meaning that any outsiders have to suit and boot to, to protect and come in. Every time we go in a house, we cross what's called the line of separation from outside to in. Um, we're actually stepping in dry chlorine baths to make sure that we don't track anything on the bottom of our boots. The chickens will grow from just a few ounces in size to four and a half pounds in just five weeks. One of the greatest misconceptions is, of course, hormones and steroids. Steroids are completely impractical. Hormones have been illegal to feed chickens, to feed the chickens since like the 1950s or 60s. We actually grow on, a, on an NAE program that's no antibiotics ever. He credits their growth with three things, genetics, great feed, and a good environment. We're constantly moving air. We have to keep enough ventilation to keep the house dry. Did you know the chickens have a bedtime too? We have six hours of dark every night just to make sure um, you know that the birds understand the day cycle. They get new birds in each house six times a year. So it's safe to say there is always something to be done on a poultry farm like Cooley Farms. Bird comfort, bird health is priority to us. In Crawford County, I'm Jennifer Parson reporting for the Farm Monitor.